this video is going to be very special because i'm going to show you a condition which i face personally so what happened is that this iphone this is a 6s plus and i have not been using this for around like a year now and uh, it's been logged to the owner right now what i can see so what happened after seven to eight months now i'm just switching on the phone and i'm trying to get in but it's showing it's logged to the owner and the main problem is that i forgot the email id as well as the password so i don't even know the id i don't even know the password i don't even know the email that i that i used to create my apple id uh, and regarding like what are the things that you need to check before you buy a used iphone i will uh, make a video on that uh, a separate video for that so make sure you uh, subscribe to this channel and watch the video till the end i will be teaching you how to fetch your icloud id that means the apple id if you have just forgotten the apple id completely and obviously the password as well you have just forgotten the apple id the password everything so make sure you watch the video till the end and comment whatever you think you want to ask and i'll be very happy to answer you so first go to apple id dot apple dot com you can use your laptop or you can use your iphone for this process so anything is just fine so firstly give some few three or four tries try to guess your email id or try to guess your apple id that you can remember of if you did not get your apple id or you are wrong with the password then just go to then you need to go to iforgot.apple.com there you enter your apple id or your gmail account whichever you think is the right one and then give the characters in the image whatever for verification purpose and then you click on continue so as you can see in my case the apple id that i've entered is invalid so what we can do is that we can go down and click on this link to find your apple id to fetch your apple id and then here they ask you the first name and the last name and the email id that you use to register your icloud account the tip that I can give you for finding the correct email address that you have used before for creating the Apple ID, you can go to your Gmail app or the email app, whatever you use on your phone or on your laptop or on any older devices that you have used in the past. So go over there, see the emails, whatever emails you have and try with each and every email. Or you can just search for iCloud or Apple ID in the Gmail app or in the email app anywhere. Wherever you get any emails coming from Apple ID or iCloud, put that email ID into this box and try to fetch your Apple ID. So if you were successfully able to fetch your Apple ID from this process, great job. Well done. But in my case, it was something different. I was completely unable to find my Apple ID and I just completely lost access to all the emails that I had before or I just completely forgot it. Something came into my mind and if you see the activation log page, it will show you your maybe the last few digits of your Apple ID or maybe the first few digits of your Apple ID. So try to guess what can be the Apple ID from there. So in my case, it was showing my mobile number. So this made me think that maybe in the past I have used my phone number for creating my apple id or instead of the emails so i tried with my number as my apple id so i tried using my number as the apple id to reset the password again saying you can use both your laptop and your mobile phone anything is fine now i'm on my laptop and and now i will be using my phone number as my apple id and let's see if that is my apple id so that i can reset the password and get access back to my account and there you go. So I am successfully able to get into my iCloud account and I, now I can reset my password. So for resetting the password, you have to get an iPhone. Uh, it may be your friend's iPhone. It can be your relative's iPhone. You can go to the Apple store near you and you can use any of the iPhone that's present in the Apple store to reset your password of your Apple ID. So in my case, I'm taking my relative's iPhone and now I am going to sign out from the existing Apple ID so once you are completely signed out from the icloud id now you can reset your apple id just enter your uh, apple id in my case it was the number then i'll click on i don't have an apple id or i forgot it forgot apple id i'll click on forgot apple id and then it will uh, ask me the apple id once again so i put my number once again over there 
and then it will send a one time password to my phone number that is iCloud ID. I mean the Apple ID, the same thing. So it will send a verification code to my Apple ID. That means my number as a text message. So I will just check that on my phone and I'll put the code here correctly. And then this will take a little bit of time. And then finally, it will let you choose your new password. As, as you can see, I have successfully resetted my password and I have set a new password for my Apple ID. And now I can use the Apple ID and the new password together in the iPhone 6s plus where I was seeing the activation lock page and then I can get into it. And now hopefully we will remember our passwords more carefully from now on. Thank you for watching the video and make sure you like, subscribe and share this video and comment if you have any doubts and stay in touch to for more useful videos.